winter of 1938 was one year before the beginning of the Second World War. And Paris was still an island of light in the darkness of Europe. And everywhere, men saw the new European citizen, the refugee. And on the streets, political refugees rubbed shoulders with the refugees from life. And no one cared if these men and women lived or died. So history prepared the end of an era and the beginning of our times. pick up this fellow Polyansky in some bistro. You told him where he lived. Did they catch anyone else? No, 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 no. Madame Favier was able to get them all down the cellar. Ah, good evening, sir. Dr. Rabbit. Good evening. Good evening. Let us play a game of billiards, eh? The police will probably be busy upstairs for some time. All right. Name? Mueller. You keep out of this. Name? Polyansky. Vladislav Polyansky? Didn't you know this man had no papers? I wasn't on the desk when he registered. And wow, if you ever let another person register without Never papers... Never mind that. This isn't your first offense. I'm sorry, but this time you'll get six months before we deport you. Next time it'll be worse. It's the law. I saw Hacky. Again? Uh, are you sure? Yes. Did he see you? No. Do you think he would recognize you if he did see you? He thinks I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Lucky for your friends at home. You recognize Klaus. Klaus has no friends left. Ghosts. I thought I would be over this by now. Yeah, one never is. I am still waiting for three Franco Spaniards. That's my dream. Everybody in this room has his dream. Rappaport over there. He dreams they're pulling out his fingernails again. Krings dreams they're chasing him down under Den Linden. He runs and runs, but they always catch him. Schultz. His friends call him the bird of death. He dreams of the next disaster. He left Berlin two weeks before Hitler came to power. He left Vienna three days before the Nazis came in. My dream is Sybil's face after they had finished with her. She couldn't tell them anything because she knew nothing. She was not in my confidence. She meant no more to me than, than a beautiful painting. They expected her to crack, but she didn't crack. She let them kill her. 
right before my eyes. Hake killed her. She had a world of courage, but no great strength. She lasted a very little while. You will have your revenge, Ravik. These crimes cannot go unpunished. Revenge? No, not revenge. Revenge is a personal thing. This is something bigger. Sibyl's face is now the symbol of thousands of beaten faces. Hake must never leave France. Each time he returns to Berlin, innocent people die. By the hundreds, they die. Let me get you a cab and send you home. What? Did you hear me? I said I'll put you in a cab and send you to your apartment, your hotel. Hotel? Well, wherever you live. No, not mine. Then where? Look, if you're thinking of taking a swim, don't. It's the wrong time of the year. The water is too cold. I hadn't thought of it. Oh, well then. I won't be responsible for putting ideas in your head. Come. I know a little place around the corner. You need a drink to warm you up. Come on. The bridge will always be here. What do you want to drink? Anything. Two Calvados and a package of Chesterfields. Only French. Then give me a package of Lawrence. Green. Only blue. I may still have one green left. Green. Found one after all. Were you in the Navy? No. Nope. Circus. Oh. Better still. Here. Drink this. Drink it all at once. For a moment, it will give you the illusion that you are living in a hot, dry country. Which way are you going? I don't know. Where do you live? I can't go there, not there. Don't you know anyone to whom you can go? You could call them up from here. No. No, there is nobody. But you must go somewhere. Haven't you any money for a room? Yes, yes, I have. Well, then go to a hotel. Look, you've got to go somewhere. You can't stay in the streets in this rain. Yes, you're right. You're quite right. Don't trouble about me anymore. I'll find a place. Thank you for everything. All right. Come with me. We'll find something for you. Thank you. The room was empty yesterday. Madame Favier must have loved it, for fear the bedbugs would get away. Sit down a moment. I'll try from the balcony side. It's no use. The window is locked, too. May I sit here for a moment? 
You can sleep here. That's the easiest thing. You should have left me on the street. Oh, you won't disturb me. It's not the first time someone has stayed here all night because he had nowhere else to go. This is a hotel for refugees, people with prices on their heads. People who hang themselves the next morning or leave for Peru. You can take the bed. I'll sleep on the sofa. I'm used to it. No, no, I'll, uh, I'll just stay where I am. If I may only sit here, that's all. Just as you like. Better take off your coat. It's quite wet. You had to. Now your shoes. Take off your stockings. I'll get you a pair of woolen ones. In critical times, have an eye for comfort. That's an old soldier's maxim. Hello? Oh, oh yeah, yes, baby. I'll be there at once. I've got to go out. It's all right. You can stay here. Can't I go with you? No, no, impossible. You stay here and take whatever you need. Oh, here. Uh, you'll find pajamas in the bottom drawer. Please, may I keep the light on? I wasn't going to turn it off. I know that feeling. Pressure, 110 over 80. Pulse is weak and thready, 140. Pressure, 70 over 40. Is she gone? Yes. You did all you could, Ravik. We can't win against quacks. Love, your magic spell is everywhere. The bracelet on her ankle read, always Lucien. Where is Lucien now? 21 years old, baby. 21 years old. The dignity of man, the beauty of woman, the innocence and subtlety of love, a quack in a dirty cellar, then this. By now, you should be tough. One is never tough, but one can get used to a lot of things. That's what I mean. But to some things, never. With scientific murder, eh? Is it idiotic, a doctor of your ability, not allowed to work everywhere? We must hide out as ghost surgeon. I'm not alone. The Nazis saw to that. Colonel! A racing car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you don't laugh? 
But, Colonel, it was a good joke. Or wasn't it? Very good. But the racing car was perhaps even better. Mind your manners, Maurice. You know, you might complain to your boss. Oh, Captain Alize? <laughs> He was lieutenant in the Tsar's guard. I was lieutenant colonel. He still remembers that, my boy. You had better remember it, too, you pickpocket of death. Without passport. When are you going to be too? Right after we have drink on the house, eh? Right. Come along. It's all right. It's me, the man who brought you here. I think we can turn the light off now. I thought you would be gone. I'll go. Never mind. Wait. We'll have some breakfast. Here. Drink your coffee. No. Well, I have. But he'll be gone in an hour. Have a brioche. I can't eat. Well, drink your coffee and have a cigarette. That's a soldier's breakfast. I think. What do you think? I think I should be going. Back to your hotel. Perhaps you should. You've got to face it, whatever it is, sometime. Things may look different to him in daylight. What's the matter? Hmm? Did I say something wrong? He's dead. He died last night. Then I ran away. That makes it perfect. Did you kill him? That makes it less perfect. You better tell me the details. He died? Suddenly. Are you sure you didn't kill him? I didn't shoot him or stab him, if that's what you mean. All right, he died naturally. He was sick. Did you have a doctor? I called one, but he wouldn't let the doctor touch him. Why not? Because of me. Did you notify the management of the hotel he was dead? No. That makes it perfect again. Why the devil didn't you give me a choice? If I'd known, I would have left you on the bridge. I'm sorry, I'll go. Oh, no, you won't go. The police will want to know where you spent the night. I won't tell them. If you went there alone, they would be knocking on my door ten minutes later. No, 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 wait. I'll get dressed and go with you. You don't have to help me anymore. I'm not helping you, I'm helping myself. This is not my year to see the police. Was he your husband? No. So you're back. You think you can disappear and leave me to answer questions to the police? You disgraced my hotel with that, that thing you left upstairs. You believe, no doubt, that I've settled this whole mess for you. Well, I haven't. You're back to go to prison, and if I have anything you to... You come from China. What do you mean? Nothing. I just wanted to interrupt you. You would have gone on talking for another hour. Sit down over there. Do you know the name of the doctor who was here? Bonnet. Marcel Bonnet. Passy, 2743. Phone Dr. Bonnet to come right over and sign the death certificate. Get out. Why do you stand around stealing my time? Get out! And close the door behind you. Unless you want the people from the street to come in here, too. seem to be any sign of violence.
Why did you run away last night? When I came back, he was dead. Back from where? We quarreled. What about? The doctor. Oh, the doctor again. All right. Now look, the police will want to make a list of what belonged to each of you. Did you have any relatives? Not in France. Take everything that's important to you, and quickly. There is no time left for sentimentality. Where is his luggage? It was over there by the wall last night. Oh, I see. The proprietor. Mother, you are much too inquisitive for your age. Get me the proprietor, please. He said I only sent for the doctor because I wanted him to get well. Oh. I'll see that you get the first prize for incoherence. I was taking care of him, but he said I only wanted him to get well so I could leave him. Did you? Yes. Well, you have definitely left him now. No, I haven't. I haven't, not this way. Why did you want to leave him? He loved me. But I didn't love him. Where are the suitcases? First the bill. First the suitcases. No one has refused to pay the bill yet. Next time not before you enter. Did he keep any money in his suitcases? Why, I don't know. Marino always had money in his wallet. Where is it? He kept it under his pillow. American money, a hundred dollars. I left a wallet where I found it. Take it. You can live on this for a while, otherwise it will rot at police headquarters. Thank you. Come in. Are these all? Naturally, these are all. Is the bill right? Well, pay it anyway. Uh, 297. Three hundred francs. Three hundred francs. We get three francs change. The concierge? That will settle ourselves. Thank you. Now the suitcases. You may find something you'd want. Well, the rest is for the police. When one is dead, one becomes very important. Would you like to go downstairs and wait for the police there? No, I'll stay here. There is nothing to do here. I know, but he won't be here much longer. I often... He wasn't very happy with me. I was often away. Now I'll stay. He won't know. It's not that. All right, well, I'll watch the proceedings from the bistro across the street. Yeah. Come to the window when the police have gone. I'll come to the window of my room on the floor above. Try the Hotel de Milan. It's clean and decent. Couldn't I go to the hotel where? To your hotel? The International? Yes, I. I know it somehow now. It's better than what I haven't seen. 
Well, the International is not the right hotel for you. You're right. I'll go to the other. Yes, very good. At least it seems to be clean. Yes. I think you'll be all right here. Yes, thanks. Many thanks. You should go to bed. You think you'll be able to sleep? I'll try. Well, I'll go now. I'll look you up one of these days. What's your name? Madhu. Joan Madhu. Joan Madhu. I remember it. Well, perhaps I'd better write it down. Here. You write it yourself. Simpler. Now go to bed. All you need is a little time. A certain amount of time that you have to get through. You understand? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I really don't know what I would have done without you. I really don't know. Fascist section celebrating a German or Italian victory over their own people. This was left for Dr. Robert. Yeah. I'm not expecting a package. Who brought it? A woman, a, a lady. A wedge, woman or lady? Just, just in between. <laughs> Pretty sharp, eh? There's no name on it. Did she say it was for me? Not just like that. She said it was for the doctor who lives here. You know the lady. She was here with you the other morning. First virtue of hotel employee is discretion. Indiscretion is only for gentlemen. <laughs> Lieutenant Navarro, aide de camp to Colonel Gomez. The Colonel request you to drink a glass of wine with him. We are about to play a game of chess. You did a service to Colonel Gomez some time ago. This match like to... must not be postponed. Oh, no, it's for a championship. What service did you render this tin soldier? I prescribed a laxative for him. <laughs> a fascist in the same situation would have prescribed for a Democrat a poison. What's this? From a Russian? No. Oh, I told you about her. Oh, 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 oh. so she's the one. Yes. yes. It's a busy day. Eh? Come in. I'm Captain Gonzalez. We are leaving tonight to join the glorious army of Generalissimo Franco. The Colonel would like to drink with you to Spain and Spain's army. Captain, I'm not a, a Spaniard. We know that. You are an Austrian. That makes you German. Germany and Spain are friends. Please give our regrets to Colonel Gomez, but the results of our game must be cable tonight to New York and Calcutta. We expected you to decline. We only invited you because you are with the doctor. Don't you think we've had about enough of this? Yes, Colonel. I think the simplest thing is that you go back to your friends. Thank you. Thank you for promoting me to rank a full colonel. Well, I knew, of course, that you were only a miserable lieutenant colonel, but it seems unbearable to me that you shouldn't have the same rank as this Gomez. Have you... Uh, have you seen her again? No. Uh, this, of course, is a cry for help. Hmm, suppose so. Go see her, Arabic. Why? Uh, because the colonel says so. All right, all right. I'll go and see her tomorrow. Hey, 
Salute. Colonel Gomez. This will be discussion between two colonels. A short one. Gentlemen. Make no statement. It will only cause conflict. Now get out. You should have got out long ago, you know. To Spain, to fight. Germans and Italians have fought for you there instead. Adieu. I am unable to challenge you. I am leaving Paris tonight. The fee for your consultation. No. One moment. One moment, please. That is to sober you up. Now get out. And remember in the future not to throw money, you medieval idiots. Get out. Get out. Get out. You. If only you were not illegal, I could have committed magnificent damage. God bless your eyes. And yours. The lady's in her room. Uh, what's the number? 27. I don't remember her name. Madhu. Oh, yes, yes, Joan Madhu. I don't think it's her real name. Why don't you think so? She registered as an actress. Oh. I knew an actor who called himself Gustav Schmidt. His real name was Alexander Maria, Count of Zambona. Nowadays, so many things happen. Mm. So much does not actually happen. Thanks, but for me, it's enough. For me, too. 27, you said? Yes, sir. Come in. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, please come in. Won't you sit down? Was this here when you moved in? I had it put there. I hate a bed in the daytime. Were you going out? Later, but nowhere in particular. I don't know anyone except the proprietor, the waiter, the chambermaid, and you. It's time you got out of here. Come. We'll have something to eat. It's good to sit this way. You came to me out of pity, but it means a great deal to me. Have you thought about what you're going to do? No, not yet. Well, the porter told me that you were an actress when I asked for your name. You had forgotten it. Yes. Well, no, I, I'd left the slip of paper in my hotel. You remember it now? Yes. Joan. Joan Madhu. I'm not a good actress. I've only played small parts. In Italy. Are you Italian? My mother is Italian. My father was Romanian. My mother is still in Italy, I think. Have you done anything else besides small parts? Some singing. Do you speak any Russian? No. I sing in Russian, gypsy songs. Might be easier. I know someone who may help you. Oh. Someone very important. Colonel Boris Morozov. He's a doorman at the Sheer Azad. Some doorman can do a lot. Come out of that rain and kiss me, you daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I forced him, Maurice. This is my first night back in Paris. Thank the stars I'm with you again. Katya, you have a Russian soul. Why did you have to be born in that Boston? Uh, nature went mad that day, Maurice. <laughs> You have not been around since you sent me this Joan Madhu. Why? What is the matter with her? She's alone and hates it. I'm alone and I intend to stay that way.
What's the matter, Romy? Do you know that woman? No. Please, do sit down. I'll do it. Uh, bring another glass, please. This is vodka. I don't know if you drink it. We drank it at the Belle Aurore. That's right. Salute. I haven't heard that for a long time. Salute. Shall we go on with this, or...? What was it we drank? When? The first night. It was the warmest thing I've ever had. Where did we drink it? In a little bistro near the arch. Oh, the waiter had a woman tattooed on his arm. Oh, now I know. Uh, it must have been Calvados. Apple brandy from Normandy. Uh, waiter. Have you Calvados? Uh, no, sorry. No one ever asked for it. You see, this place is too elegant. But the simplest thing would be to go to that other place again. I'm through for the evening. Fine. Wait up. Check. Thank you. Flowers. Cap, monsieur. If you please, Cap. <laughs> Mother? Roses. Tonight, I love you. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> That's a joke. The joke, my boy, is that man is great in his intentions, but weak in carrying them out. Therein lies our misery and our charm. God bless your eyes. <laughs> Good night. Come on. That's it. That's where you said the last time. You still remember? Perfectly. I never forget anything. Do you remember what we drank? Cavados? Right. We'd like to repeat it now. We'll see if it has the same taste. Double. You are a double Calvados then. You know, you're gradually giving me an uneasy feeling. Do you remember how we were dressed? Raincoats. The lady wore bass beret. It's a pity you have to be here. You belong in Vaudeville. I used to be. Circus. I told you before. This gentleman has a bad memory. He's an expert at forgetting, just as you're an expert at not forgetting. Perhaps not, after all. Salute. Salute. Does it taste as good? Better. Want another? Would you like to leave? Wait up. These are what you had the last time. Are they? Yes, he's right. Lawrence Green. You see? The lady has a better memory than you have, sir. That's yet to be proven. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'll take you to your hotel. Taxi. Gentlemen must write. 
About memory, I mean. Here. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Gunther. Alvarez. Jaime Alvarez. Don't you remember? Remember now? On a kitchen table, a temporary field hospital. At the Roundways, a little white cottage in an almond grove. Yes, yes, I remember. Oh, uh, Alvarez, this is Miss Madou. How is the leg now? I can bend it completely, but it was good enough to take me over the Pyrenees. It's all right. It's all over now. Those of us who can are getting out. You're lucky to be here. Yes. Where are you staying? Here. Bed, doctor, real bed. It's a nice hotel. Just got in this morning. How are things here? Oh, fine. The frontiers are guarded by a million words. The enemy will never break through. Same all over again. Maybe. Do you like a drink? Not now. There are things I have to do. But we'll meet again. Hardly said a word since we left the hotel. Is it because of that man? He called you Günther. Yes, I know. Why did he do that? Is your name Günther? My name is Radic. But he knew you. Joan, names are unimportant. Never bother yourself about names. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm happy. I told you I'm in love. Have you been happy often? Have you? Not often. When was the last time? Why do you ask me? Oh, just to ask something. Two years ago. It didn't last long. Why not? He made terrible scenes. He didn't understand I no longer loved him. One never understands that. You'd understand, but then I will always love you. You're different. Everything with us is different. He wanted to kill me. They always talk about it, but they never do. <laughs> you wouldn't want to kill me. Conversation is becoming more human. For a moment, I was pretty frightened. Because I love you? Oh, we won't start that again. We won't start what again? Has anyone you loved ever told you that he no longer loved you? Yes. What did you do? Everything. But it didn't help. I was terribly unhappy. For long? A week. About a week. It's not very long. It's an eternity if you're really unhappy. I was so filled with unhappiness that nothing else existed. And if nothing else exists, there is nothing left with which to compare it. All one can do is to start to live again. What are you thinking of? Of how dangerous you are, Joan. I'm not dangerous. The fact that you think that is part of it. You must be tired. No, I'm not tired. You've been walking for miles. You didn't answer my question. What did you do in Spain? Cut off legs. That's no answer. What kind of an answer do you want? A true one. I gave you a true one. Something in you is close, Rabbit, and you won't let anyone or anything in. You're imagining things, and I need a drink. Let's sit here. Coffee. Coffee and brandy for me. Right, sir. You drink too much. Possibly. Rabbit, I'm in love. I throw myself into it without a thought. I love you and I'm happy. I'm never cautious. I'm never afraid of, of saying what I feel. But you put up a barrier. There's something in you that resists. What is it? Ravik.
Ravik. Ravik, what is it? You must tell me. I'm sorry, Joan. I'll get you a cab. I have something to do here. Please go home. Taxi. Will I see you later tonight? No. Perhaps not for a few days. But why, Ravik? You must tell me why. I can't talk about it. All right. Please, don't be angry with me. How could I ever be angry with you? Hotel de Milan. Okay. Yes, I lost him on the corner of Avenue George Sank at Chasse Easy. So, so the chances of meeting him are now everywhere the same. I intend to look everywhere. Hey, Ravi. Hey. If you are destined to meet this man, you'll meet him. Keep your eyes open everywhere. Be prepared for anything. But otherwise, go on living as if you were mistaken or you drive yourself crazy. Thank you, boys. No, no, no. Don't take the gun. You'll get only trouble. Don't run any risks. Don't be hero for nothing. Hey. You must go, eh? Yes. Don't shoot unless you are sure you can escape, right? This is no child's play. Don't worry. Oh, boys, please put up the knife. Huh? Madhu didn't go to work tonight. She's been in all evening. She's paying extra for burning her lights all night. Can't sleep in a dark room, she says. Thank you. Without love, a man is dead. A I dead man on a furlough. Don't leave me, Ken. Love me, love me, love me. I think we got to get out of this. We must get away from this hotel, away from the nightclub, away from the dark. Yes, we'll go away, we'll go away. Where the sun is. We'll wash the rain away. Wash the past, too. To come, our aunt Eva. Have you ever been there? Oh. Then we'll go. Have we any money? Some, but in two or three weeks we'll have enough. I have to open the stomach of someone of importance. He'll provide the rest of the money. We'll live, Ravik, we'll live. We'll live. Only time dies. Look, I haven't a thing to wear. out of the water. How could you? Then I covered my eyes. It was like Venus rising from the sea. I didn't want to be struck blind. Now I am blind. Now I have my sight back. 
How is the water? Cold without you. But good. Yes, yes, good. How long can we stay? Uh, we'll find out tonight at the casino. Have you been winning? Mm -hmm. Not enough. Oh, Ravik, I wish I could have this life always. You find that superficial, don't you? <laughs> no. It is superficial, but we've had so little of that in our wretched lives. In a few days, we'll go back to Paris, to a uh, nightclub where nothing ever changes, into life in a dirty hotel. It was dark before, and it'll be dark again. Here comes Finzi and Nugent. Oh, they'll go away again. Oh, we promised to go sailing with them. Oh, well, then go with them. They're your friends. Why, well, my friends, they're yours. You've known them longer. Ten minutes longer. Well, longer anyway. All right. Ah, never mind. Well, go if you want to. Tell them I have to work. You told them that yesterday. Why is it that all women love these idiotic conversations? You want to go for a ride? Well, I have no boat. Life is short. We're only here for a few days. Why should I persuade you to do what you'll do anyway? All right, you persuaded me. Good. I'll stay on this rock. I'm beginning to feel like part of it. You're not a rock. You're a block of concrete. Alex! Faites vos jeux, messieurs. Marquez vos jeux. Vos jeux sont faits. Vos jeux sont marqués. Rien ne va plus. Le 1, rouge, impair et vent. Monsieur is lucky. Where's the beautiful lady tonight? Tonight, the beautiful lady is behaving like a beautiful lady. <laughs> you feel lucky? Do you? Not a chance. <laughs> Vos jeux sont faits. Beautiful lady is here. Oh, je s'en fais. Le 23, rouge, impair et passe. Will you please put up number six for me? Thank you. Ah, you are idiots. <laughs> Choose your side, John. Marquez vos jeux. Just for a drive. I'll go with you. What about your idiots? I told them you were waiting for me. Good. Get in. Better put this around you. <laughs> Must be the air. <laughs> oh, don't be angry with me, Rabbit. This is the first time I've been on the Riviera. First time, the first time. <laughs> oh, forget what happened today. Don't think about it. You're a wonderful driver, Rabbi. You know that? <laughs> Those idiots were saying the same thing. You're uncanny. You have no past. Nobody knows anything about you. I know a hundred times more about the life of those idiots than I do about yours. <laughs> Fast? No, oh, drive fast. I love your rabbit. Let's never go back to Paris. Let's steal a trunk full of jewels or rob a bank, take this car and never come back. Careful. If you want that Calvados, you better let me drive. It's fine.
Come, we'll get you a Calvados here. Two Calvados. How much have you had already? <laughs> How much have you had to drink? Too much. <laughs> Too much because of you, because I was away from you. Then why didn't you come to me? I did come to you. Yes, when you saw me leave. <laughs> did you win? Yes. Then let's go to the most expensive restaurant and have caviar and champagne. Hmm? Let's be like our parents were before all these wars, carefree and sentimental and without fear. <laughs> Full of bad taste and tears and the moon, oleanders, <laughs> violins and the ocean and love. <laughs> I want to believe that I'm married to you and that we have children and a garden and a house. <laughs> I've given up a great career for your sake. <laughs> we still love each other after 20 years. And you still think me beautiful. And I can't sleep when you're not at home for one night. That's all part of it, part of that bad taste. There is no use in our planning, Joan. I know. No, no, you don't know. It's not what you think, it's something I should have told you before. I can't marry you. I'm a refugee without a passport and I can't get one. I have no proof of my identity. I live illegally here. On paper, I don't exist. If they should catch me, uh, I'd be deported. Deported? Deported from France? No, but Ravik, Ravik. Ra I'd be back. I know the borders. It wouldn't be the first time. No, the last. Oh, it isn't that bad. They haven't caught me in over a year. Oh, there's nothing for us, Ravik, nothing. <laughs> Tears solve nothing. Look, our Calvados is here. My, if I could close my eyes and open them and find all danger gone, and us alone in the past. All I can give you is my love in this bitter present. back in Paris, Robert. It's good to be back. And alive and happy and working <laughs> and well fed. Well, so long. I'll come by this evening. Before the cable snapped. He was riding the steel beam and never had a chance. No, no, no. Don't lift him. Leave him where he is. What, are you a doctor? Yes. All right. Unconscious, isn't he? Dead. But we've just been eating lunch together. Somebody call an ambulance. The cable hit the woman. She's bleeding. You. Where is she? Over here, sir. Over here. Careful. Now, don't worry. You'll be all right. Has anyone called for an ambulance? Here come the police. They'll get one. Well, I've got to go. Back, please. The woman is half dead and you want to leave? Wait. Who put this bandage on? He did. He says he's a doctor. I've tied up the artery. Better get her to a hospital fast. Phone for the ambulance.
One moment, Doctor. May I have your name? Police. Good sake. You're a German? No, a Czech. I don't think you're a Czech. Listen, I think you're a German. Have you a license to practice here? I don't practice here. I'm a tourist, a Czech tourist. Huh. May I? Certainly. Hold it. Have you a passport with you? Is that necessary? The gentleman's helped the woman. I'm interested. Have you a passport with you or your identity card? No, not with me yet. Where is it? At the consulate. Oh. It has to be extended. Which consulate? The Czech consulate. All right, I'll call them up and ask. Of course. You won't mind staying here until this is cleared up, Dr. Watson? You see that he does. I'm sorry, Doctor. Never mind. You must understand, sir. Fernand's father was hanged by the Germans in the last war. That's why he's crazy on this subject. I'm awfully sorry, sir, if it was up to me. I understand. Uh, may I use that telephone before your friend returns? Quite certainly. Yeah. Hello. All right. All right, Monsieur Woodsack. Of course, I will remember. So long, Watsek. The world should be executed for murder. Ravik. Ravik. Arrested. They have arrested him. When? Where? No! John? Where did I take him? We can bribe them. We can get the money. You must not go to him, I John. I must. I must. They will deport him. He said no one must go to him. All the police have now is men they have found in the street. Face with no papers, no identity. But I'll find some way of getting him off. They have to believe whatever that face tells them. And since there is no proof that he has been in France before, that means deportation after two weeks in jail. But I, must, I must see him. I must go to him. There must be some way, somebody. Where did I take Joan, him? John, if you go to Ravik now, you will open a door into his past. I knew they would catch the him. I knew it. The minute the authorities find out that he has been deported before, not once, but many times, that means six months in jail before deportation. And then they'll catch him again when he comes back, and I won't be able to live for fear. I wish I could say something comforting, cheerful, pleasant. But history has no special accommodations for lovers. I'll do as he asks. I won't go near him. I'll stay here for the two weeks, and then I'll go wherever he goes. It's possible to share all of the happiness of someone else, but only so much of the despair. Pity is a pleasure for comfortable people only. It will not last long in cold border towns. Filthy cellars, without money, not enough food. Not one place where you can sleep safe. And each day the struggle for mere survival becomes worse. Each Tell me day... the rest. Tell me. He'll be pushed from prison to prison. Shoveled back and forth over the borders like dirt. Tell me. He'll be shot one day running like an animal, always running and no place to go to. Tell me. Go on, tell me that we're talking about the dead man. <laughs> A refugee without passport has lost his membership in the human race. Those who remain alive must go on living. Oh, I can't live like this. I can't go back to one room and four walls alone. By the darkness of night and nothing. I can't go back to that alone without hope. Hope. Hope is luxury we cannot afford this year. Why didn't he call me? He should have called me. He had only a minute. He called you? A minute is too short to say goodbye to somebody you love. 
What did he say for me? Goodbye. He said goodbye. Didn't he ask me to wait? He said goodbye. What are those? You and Ravik and Antib. Hmm? Destroy them. Much too early for the mail. Yes, I know. I promised I'd let you know at once if a letter comes. But it never comes, does it? You've been doing this for months. You ought to go back to work instead of walking the city all night. It's not right. Unwise, Albert. Very unwise. I don't just walk the city. Not always. Sometimes you go to the railroad stations, is that it? Stations. Don't men molest you? They don't like women who aren't gay. Miss Madhu, why don't you put out your light when you leave your room? It burns all night. The bill runs up frightfully, and your money won't last forever. You're right, Albert. Thank you for the coffee. Oh, Miss Madhu, a man came to see you. A man? What man? Who? I don't know. I never saw him before. What, what did he say? What did he want? He said he had to see you. Where did he go? He also said he was a friend of Mr. Ravik, so I had him wait in your room. I would have found you sooner, Joan, if I'd known where to look. I'm going back to Antibes. Will you come? Afternoon. You stayed away more than three months. It's getting harder. They watch the borders more closely. I was caught five times. Why did I not hear from you? Letters never help. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. You have dinner. No, thank you. Uh, drink then. Hey. Oh, Monsieur Ravik, you haven't been here for a long time. What will it be, Colonel? Another bottle, another glass. At your service, Colonel, Monsieur Ravik. I thought your name was what, sir? It was. Sometimes Neumann, occasionally Günther. But uh, I don't want to give up Ravik. I like it as a name. You are back at the International, eh? Yes, yes, back in my old room. Never seen this place so busy. Oh, people have gone crazy. We could stay open 24 hours a day. And mostly German tourists. 
They speak French very well, not at all the way the Germans spoke it several years ago. Spend a lot of money, don't they? Oh, they treat everybody who will drink with them. Strange, all those German tourists with plenty of money and speaking good French. to your father, connoisseur of the human heart. Do not make detours. Ask me quickly. Let's get this behind us. All right. Where is she? She is not here. I have not heard anything about her for several weeks. And before that? Before that, she inquired for you for some time, and then not anymore. When did she leave her job here? Not for some weeks after you left. You know what she's doing now? The last I heard of her, she was in the South. But from whom? From the check room girl. You want to see her, eh? Yes. So, if ever I open the door for her, I will let you know. Yes. Alone? My boy, a rainy green, could not get in here alone. You take care of this for me, will you? How long have you been back? Two weeks. Two weeks and you didn't even... No one knew where to find you. Why did you never write? I couldn't. That's a lie. I didn't know whether I could... I didn't know whether I could come back again. You're lying, that's no reason. You've been back two weeks and you haven't done the least thing to find me. Joan, you didn't get that tan in Paris. Well, I just came back from Antibes. So I see. Ravik, what are you doing here? You must go. You must go away. They'll arrest you again. I know all about that now. Next time it will be six months in prison. That was bad luck. As a matter of fact, I hadn't thought of looking for you in Antibes. Whatever you're thinking isn't true. Not true at all. Go back to your table, Joe. Your friends must be getting restless. It's your fault. Yours, yours alone. Turn on the light. Oh, Joan, please, we're not playing hide and seek. Did you know I would come? No. Your door was open. My door is often open. I thought you wouldn't be here yet. I thought you would be out drinking somewhere. I was playing chess instead. What? Chess with Morozov downstairs. Chess? But you can play chess it when... It worked. 
As a matter of fact, I won a game. You are the coldest, most unfeeling. See? We've even built up an etiquette for unhappiness. If you'd found me blind drunk, everything would have been in good taste. The fact that I played chess and went to sleep is proof that I'm crude and unfeeling. That's good. I couldn't stand that thing anyway. Uh, don't get splinters in your feet. Ravik, I'm sorry, but when I saw you tonight, suddenly I couldn't think at all. And when you left, I thought you left for good. I couldn't have endured it. You can't leave me alone. You're responsible for me. Are you alone? You're responsible for me. All right, all right. I'm responsible for the occupation of Czechoslovakia, too. Now, stop it. It's getting light. It's time for you to go. You don't love me anymore. Oh, what idiots have you been with the last three months? What else could I have done? Sit in a dirty hotel and stare at the walls and go... No, 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 no. No confessions, please. I don't want any confessions. What I want to know is why you're here. I'm here. Isn't that enough? Yes. Yes, you're right. It's enough. You say that, but first you have to take away all the joy. What are you going to do? Throw me out? you ask me, Ravik, about what happened in between. Don't you want to know where I live, how I live? John, look outside. Ask the air whether it rained yesterday, whether there was a war in China or Spain, whether thousands are dying or being born at this moment. The world exists, we exist. Why rake up dead leaves? Did you miss me? Yes. Much? Yes. I haven't heard her for a long time. I'll drop you up at the hospital. I think we have had enough of this party, don't you? Want to take a walk? 
No. Don't be so sentimental. Might as well get used to it. Come in. It's good to have you here. I've been waiting for you. You didn't call me for days, so I had to call you. Come. How do you like it? It's nice. Large and nice. Do you know how it works? No. Oh, it's wonderful. It plays for hours and I can lie here and listen and watch it getting dark outside and dream. Do you like it? Come, you haven't seen the rest yet. One feels quite different in an apartment. Different than in those dreary hotel rooms. Yes, you're right. Well, it was nice to have had a look at all this. Ravik, you're not going. Yes, Joan, for good. What are you saying? Why? This whole place should tell you why. Who has been talking to you, telling you things, Morozov? No one had to tell me anything. I know, because I have this apartment. Because I don't work at the Sherazade any longer. Morozov starts to imagine things, and you fall right in with him. Stop but it. a person can be somebody and make something out of herself. That's a bit... Now, stop your nonsense. Are you going to beat me too? I just wanted to stop that babbling. You think I'm calm just because I came in here calmly? What do you think I've been doing for the past three days? I've been waiting for you. I didn't have your telephone number. I didn't think I had to know it. I didn't have your address. I didn't think I had to know that either. For three and a half months, I didn't see you. Well, I don't think I missed you as much then as when you kept away from me for one day. My thoughts were constantly on you. In my room at the hospital, everywhere. I sat with Morozov and pictured you walking in. You didn't come. I stared at the phone until I could have smashed it on the floor. But you didn't call. Then everything became clear to me. I knew you wouldn't come, only I hadn't wanted to believe it. You had made sure of me, then you could afford to take your time. There was someone else. Not only someone else, but another life as well, this life, which you want me to share. So, he'll break it off and go, as simple as that. You didn't want to know anything and I loved you for it. And now, now you come and reproach me. What do you want of me anyway? What rights have you? None. I thought you had come back. Well, didn't I? You came to me, but you did not come back. Ravik, listen to me. While you were in Switzerland, I waited. I waited and there was nothing. Then, one day, someone came who wanted me. Nothing but me, holy and forever. It was like a landslide, which one laughs at in the beginning. Then, suddenly, there is nothing left to hold on to, when one can't resist any longer. Don't you understand? Oh, yes. I knew. I knew it. It's quite easy to understand. Beside you is nothing. I knew that the minute I saw you. I know I must break with him, but I need time. I, I can't do it right away. You see how generous he has been. I didn't know if you would ever come back. We were to be married. Oh, Ravik, help me. How can I help you? I'm leaving you alone. No, I mustn't lose you. I can't lose you. Then what do you want me to do? Give me time. Wait for me. 
Wait for you? Yes, wait for me. I'm a refugee. It's my profession to wait, to keep alive and wait. You'll come again, Rabbit? Don't think about it. Take your time. You'll find out for yourself. Paris soir, l'intro! Paris soir, dernier Paris soir. Odavra for the bottle of your driest vine. Yes, sir. Leave the money. Evening, sir. Your telephone this number. Ask for Mr. Himmelstoss. Give him this message. And bring me a package of Zaire cigarette. Go tip. Mr. Himmelstas, this is the chasseur at Fouquet's. I have a message for you from Mr. Hackett. Sorry, we have no Chesterfield. Uh, Lawrence Green. Package of Osiris cigarette. Gold tip. Don't you recognize me anymore? How do you happen to be here? Aren't you going to ask me to sit down? No, I'm waiting for someone. You must leave me alone. Not until I've seen what she looks like. Who? The woman you're waiting for. Don't do that. Now I will wait. Then sit somewhere else, please. But why are you doing this, Ravik? You promised to wait for me. You yourself said it would take time, and it has only been two weeks. Only two weeks. Well, I didn't come here by accident. I was looking for you, Ravik. I must see you alone. No. It's important. I must talk to you. Don't be a child. I'm going to leave him. Yes, yes, you told me. But I'm afraid he threatens me. Hmm? What was that? He threatens me. Who? Oh, who is she? I'm in danger. He can be vicious, Radic. Oh, you're not even listening to me. 
wait just a moment. No. One second. No. Sorry to be late. Doesn't matter. I'm going home. It was unavoidable. There is no other table. Paris Soir, Paris Soir. Good morning, Paris Soir. Good morning. Very good. I saw you while I was still inside. I spotted you at once. Oh, this scar. It is the mark from a German student course. So you are German, or so you have studied in Germany. Oh. Correct? Correct. Oh, it is my business to know these things. Cognac. Yes, sir. That is one good thing they have here, is cognac. Otherwise, all is decadent. These people here only wish for an easy life. Do you live here? Yes. Long time? Quite a while. Permit me. Von Hacke. Horn. Van Horn. Yes. You must know Paris. Well, fairly well. I do not mean the, uh, the museums. I know what you mean. May I offer you a drink? No, thank you. I'll stick to this one. No. Chic. These people here know all about that. These are nothing compared to this woman you are talking to now. You saw her? Yeah. Good acquaintance? Yes. Just that. It is difficult here to meet a woman like her. It can be arranged. So... This woman is French? Italian. With a few other races mixed in. Not bad. Naturally, at home, we cannot have that, but here... Yeah, you are a tourist. <laughs> you understand? Thank you, Hacker. Do you have uh, much contact with uh, refugees? Some. We appreciate, you know, certain uh, informations. We even pay for this. Herr von Hacker, you're not suggesting that... Naturally, between men like you and me, that is out of the question. With us, it is a matter of honor. Das Vaterland. Das Vaterland. Waiter. Yes, sir? No, 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 no. Allow me. In Paris, you're my guest. Ten francs. You must Thank go. You. Well, I thought I would stroll about a bit tonight. So, you know, there are things here for tourists to see and learn. Tonight? Oh, what a pity. I must go to Berlin tonight. I was just waiting here for two friends. Our baggage is already at the station, but maybe next time. Huh? I'll be back here in a few days. I could call you up then. Where do you live? At the Prince de Galles. Just across the street. Just again. Are these your friends? Yeah. Just on time. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Von Hauer. I am delighted to have met you, and you will hear from me sometime between the 28th and the 5th, and discretion. 
Of course. Of course. Between the 28th and the 5th. Don't forget. I never forget anything, either an appointment or a face. That's my profession. I'm glad you still have enough concern for me to come when I call you. So you like to get me up here? Yes. I had to see you. And if I have to lie to see you, I'll continue to lie. You acted very strange, little Fouquet's. It was like telling me that everything was over between us. It is. You didn't do that. I'm not going. Not this time. Not until I make you understand that the book is closed. It is not closed. I can't bring myself to marry Alex. I love you. And I'll always love you. And you love me. Yes. But I have broken away from you. Are we automatons that we can turn love on and off? We were finished when I returned from Switzerland. I knew it then. I should have broken off then. I should have broken off the first time you brought me here. But I wasn't sure. No one can prophesy. And sometimes one doesn't want to know everything. I can't imagine her never being together. For a time, yes, but not forever. You know you would leave me again. Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, sometime. Yes. And if you returned, you know you would always go again. Everyone searches for security and love. You found them both, but in two different men. You want the one, and you don't want to let the other go. Yes, I would, Ravik. I would, only, only I'm afraid. I'm afraid of letting my love for you do to me what it did, what it did before. When you were taken away from me. When you were deported. I'll be hurt like that again. <laughs> can't we? Can't we at least? The formula of a friendship might be possible with some people, but a love like ours is no substitute. Pain is part of it.
Yes. Yes, thank you. I'm expecting you. I certainly did not rent one of the cheap suites. Have you ever sat in a brush hole the entire day and waited? Longer, my boy. Longer. And remember, this is the first day only. You may wait seven. You may wait 7,000. Look. France closed the German frontier today. There's still a chance. I'll wait the week out. Did you have much trouble getting in here without passport? No. Night porters don't ask questions in exclusive hotels. What about the day, fellows? Well, that's a chance I'll have to take. I had only thought of asking Hackey's Paris Hotel. I know. I know. You are sitting here thinking you have done everything wrong, eh? Forget it. Did you rent the car? Oh, yes. It's Talbot with leather seats. It's parked in the Rue de Berry opposite the Lancaster. Thank you. Remember, you have no license to drive. That has never bothered me before. I came here straight from the International. I left Joan in my room, crying. Hello. One moment, please. Do you know where you want to take him? Yes, I know a place. Yes? Yes, this is Herr von Horn. The wine you ordered, was it Liebfrauen 29? Yes. Open. Room service. Oh. <laughs> I hope you do not attract attention. No man in Paris eats in his room unless he is sick. I wish I could come with you. I'm glad you don't have to. God bless your eyes. Started. The whole city is deathly quiet. Whole country is hoping against hope. And here I am playing this silly game of Indians. If only Hackey hasn't left Paris by now. With the frontiers closed, he may not even have come at all. For four days now. I've... Oh. Let's talk about something else. Yes. What do you? really intend to do about Joan. Have you seen her again? Every day she comes to see me at International. Every night at Scheherazade. She wants to make things right. She is desperate. Let's talk about something else. Blacked out. It's just been announced over the radio as a precaution against air raids. On the radio, they say everything is precaution. They say there'll be no war. They say you're about to negotiate. Uh, good evening, Miss Madeira. Good evening. I want to see the Colonel. I'll look for him. Hey. I cannot talk to her here in this uniform. Tell her I see her outside. Huh? You can talk to her here. Another soul will be here tonight. Hmm? Please, they will be blacked out any minute. It was just announced. You ought to hurry home. Please, come You should not be out alone. Where is he? I do not know. If they declare war, they'll put Ravik into a concentration camp. You are the only one who can give me a chance to see him. Please, before it is too late. All right, John. If I see him. I have your word. 
Monsieur Van Horn doesn't answer. He must be in. You'll keep ringing, please. Where are you going? To get my car. You won't leave me. No, 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 no. You wait here. <laughs> we closed up this place. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this place where we are going. Well, select wines, exquisite service, unbelievably pleasant company. Sounds wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> but not cheap v Germans, you know. Limited foreign exchange. Herr oh, von Hacker, did I remind you that in Paris you're my guest? You are a true Lanzmann. <laughs> It's 5.30. Remember, good friend, I must be in the Gare du Nord by 9 o'clock. I will not see Paris again until I, through this arch of triumph, march. We have nearly four hours. You make it easily. We are driving more than half an hour. Really? I didn't think it was so long. We'll be there soon. Fair. The place I told you about. Drive back. Now? Yeah. Why? Drive back.
10 Downing Street. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. You heard? Well? I killed him in the Bois and buried him in Saint-Germain. Where is the car? Rue uh, Poncelet. Everything is in order. Nothing else to do? Nothing. I've got a terrific headache. I want to sleep. I'll, I'll come down later. You did not forget anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, I've given up my room at the Prince de Galles. Uh, Madame Favier gave me my old place here. Well, I, I, I can't go over the whole thing now. Uh, first, I must sleep. Did he ever find out who you were? He didn't know who? Oh, I... Wake up. You must wake up. Please do wake up. What do you want? You must come immediately. It's John. What? It was an accident. You can't put the light on. There's a blackout. Ah, if I have to put a light on, I'll put a light on. Have you a taxi downstairs? I have my car. I shot her. I pleaded with her not to leave me. I only meant to threaten her. What about the police? No one heard me. Get my case to Yes. Alex, I couldn't walk. Just after I telephoned you, I couldn't, I couldn't move my leg or my arm. What is it, Ravik? Are you in pain? Yes. I'll give you something in a minute. Uh, call up uh, by C-2741. Order an ambulance. Yes. I see, 2741. What is it, traffic? Nothing bad. Send an ambulance immediately. Hotel de Milan. Rue Cardinet. Rue Med. I don't want to be operated on. Maybe we won't have to. Is it serious? No, nothing serious. They said the ambulance is coming. Uh, call up Otay 1357. It's a hospital. I'll talk to them. 1357. Hello? Otay 1357. Frank. I don't want... 
I don't want to have pain. You won't. I can't. I can't endure. I can't. Doctor, it's the hospital. All right, I'll be right there. Hold it for a second. Everything ready. Right. I've ordered an ambulance. Yes. In ten minutes. Oh, darling. I don't know what happened. If you like, I'll call Baudet. He could be here in 15 minutes. You can assist him, and he can do it. No. No, it's too late. I couldn't, anyway. Looking on would be worse. so much before. Oh, I don't want to suffer. Ravi, promise I won't suffer. My grandmother, I saw her. I don't want that. Promise. I promise. What's wrong with my arm? You will come back again. And my leg? the same. Oh, I just intended to begin to live differently. Oh, 
What would have happened without you? I'm going in and find out. One time when I'm most needed, all that I know, all that I've learned is nothing. Poor France. Yes, poor France. And I'm afraid it's more than France, Vivian. For me, it's France. Of course. Ah. What's the matter with my legs? I can't move either one of them anymore. You'll be able to walk as always, as soon as you get up again. You don't have to lie. You must have let me live. When I'm nothing but pain. You must give me something strong. Strong enough forever. You must do it. Even if I don't want you to. It's all right for you to do it. Without you, I wouldn't be alive anyway. You gave me this year. Why didn't I stay with you? It was my fault, John. No. It was... It was... Oh, I don't know. My head. The light. My eyes. Love is no word for it. It isn't enough, it's a small part only. It is so much more. Sono stata sempre con te. Yes. Yes, you were always with me. No matter whether I loved you, hated you, or seemed indifferent, that never changed anything. But you... I was a little more lost without you. 
where all the brightness and the sweet and the bitter Do you live here? Yes. Take your place in line, please. Hello, Boris. You too? This war, they want to see everybody's papers. I was asleep. Idiot that I am, I could have warned you. I'm through running. Next. You know where they will put you? I've been there before. There is rumor they are going to set up concentration camp at Longchamp. Maybe they'll set us free again soon. We can be used. This is the end of our waiting, Boris. Next. No, no, not so fast. Perhaps not. But you will see the day. Next. Boris. Mm -hmm. John is dead. Shot by a man. She's in Weber's hospital. Will you see that she's buried? No, don't ask questions. Just say yes and be done with it. Yes. Thanks. And take any of my things that you can use and move into my room. You always wanted my shower anyway. All right. After the war, I will meet you at Fouquet's. Which side? Champs Elysees or Georges V? Oh, Georges V. Good. Now, come here, idiot. Don't we even dare say goodbye decently? <laughs> <laughs> 